Hey guys, hey guys, this is Rock and Rumble Collectors, and today um, we are doing a Brick Arms update on all my Brick Arms open. I have some of them on my guys, but I just have some other ones I'm not using that are uh, just I've sorted into their respectable eras and exception for the zombie defense thing that's just a pack by Brick Arms, but I have the World War One and World War Two, not the packs, they have other weapons in them, well, from other packs that are World War Two. Um, other than that, I'm just really hyped because, uh, today is Minifig Co. Day, yesterday was, it's a two-day event, and I was actually able to get two Waffen SS camo figures, so I'm really excited about that, so, yeah, like I said in the last video, I should have videos up on those, but without further ado, let's get into the packs. So first, we have the Brick Arms Zombie Defense Weapons. So I'll just pull all those out. Wait a second, let me scoot my chair in a little bit more. So first you have this, uh, like, AR uh, assault rifle. And then, looks pretty nice. And then next, you have this, uh, I don't know the, the names of these, uh, that's probably like a Glock or something. Or a M1911, I don't know. It has a silencer and a scope and a laser on it, so... I don't, don't know my stuff when it comes to modern weapons, but... World War II, yes. Uh, a bat. Comes with a bat. Uh, my favorite, which is the... My sh the shotgun. Could use that for like a farmer or something. Like, get off my lawn. <laughs> okay, that wouldn't happen, but who cares? This, it, in the world of stop motion, you can do whatever you want. Um, in the world of Minecraft, you can do whatever you want. Um, that's uh, this is an M1911. I know that for a fact. I don't know it for a fact, but I'm pretty decently sure that's an M1911. This is a M14. Rifle with a scope on it. I don't know the variant if there is a variant with a scope on it Like if it's called different because it has a scope on it. I for as far as I know it's just an M14 with a scope on it uh, So yeah, leave that in the comments if you know Some uh, SMG And then you have um, this huge, like, sword. You're getting into sword category with this knife. Um, then you have a uh, machete. So, yeah, right there. Next, this might be a Russian pistol or it's a Glock. I don't know. Well, I don't even know if it might be a Glock. I don't know my stuff, as I said. This is an AR-15, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Looks like it has a bump stock on it with a scope. So, yeah, I don't know, though. Um, Silver Magnum. I don't know if you can tell, but... These two weapons are silver. Well, yeah, now looking at that, I can see you can tell. But this is really good. It almost looks like one of those Destiny Magnums, but... And you have the semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle. Yep, knife. And then this looks to be like an SMG again with a silencer on it. Pa like this paddle thing. And M16. I do know a little Vietnam ones. Um, my friend thinks the M16 was the first assault rifle. I'm like, no, it's not. Uh, SMG, it's actually the S uh, STG 43, I'm pretty sure. Also known as the MP 43. Uh, silenced one. A handgun, I don't know where it's from, though, again. Then you have this, like, parang thing. 
I don't think I'm going to show with any of the weapons for the other ones, just because they're not really required to. That one I kind of had to because of so many weapons, but... Next. Sorry about that, I just adjusted my tripod. Um, okay, so next. Yeah. World War One stuff. Um, here is a Gewehr 98 with bayonet. I actually bent that one on accident. It wasn't Brick Arms' fault. Um, I'm gonna just move those weapons to the side so I have a place to put these ones. So, yeah, Gewehr. Uh, Trench U shotgun. Or American Trench shotgun. Which, a little fact on that. Germans thought it was unfair. Uh, to have shotguns, and it was just strictly for hunting, and any Americans found with shotguns would be captured and killed, so yeah. And you have a SMLE short magazine, Lee Enfield, with bayonet. Um, this is a uh, M1917 M1917 Springfield for the Americans. And then a Russian M19 something, I don't know, uh, lever action rifle. I have a tank Gewehr, which is an anti-tank rifle. I think I'll show that in its hand because that's really, I'll show you how big it is in someone's hands. Y yeah, you'd have to be squatted down in a trench. That's what, how they used it, not like running with it. Um, I'll compare it to a uh, sprint field. I should compare it to the normal Gewehr, but... It's about the same. So, yeah. You can see it's substantially bigger. Now to the melee. They have their trench club or trench mace. Um, oh, these were banned. It's a trench knife. You can punch and stab with it. And then you have your dark tan Brody helmet. The British used those. That shape was to keep shrapnel from raining down and getting in their head on their head and you know injuring them next is world war ii now this is my largest historical collection so some of these are duplicates uh M1 Grand Semi-Automatic Rifle America, um, SMLE, uh, British World War II and World War I. Um, they had a different variant, I believe, a different version of pretty much of just the same thing as this, just a little different in World War II. Um, Brick Arms hasn't got around to making that, though. Um, uh, Bren Gun, which is a light machine gun, British. I have another SMLE, um, another M1 Grand, uh, I have a BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle, I have a Sten Gun, which is a cheaper version of the Thompson SMG, made by the British because they couldn't afford the Tommy Gun, um, uh, you have a Mosin Nagant uh, Russian Rifle. Speaking of Russian rifles, I wish Brick Arms would come out with, uh, like, official, uh, SVT-40 semi-automatic rifle for the Russians, but they've only done that in the Russian Weapon Pack version 1, which is really hard to find, because now they've came up with a version 2, and that prototype is really hard to find, um, Brick Arms prototypes in general are hard to find, but that one is just insanely hard. So are the multi-color ones. Not the overmolds, but the ones that have, like, swirled in them. Um, overmolds aren't really that hard to find, but they're really expensive. M1 Carbine uh, for paratroopers. It's, like, M1 Grand for paratroopers, pretty much. Well, I take that back. It's not, uh, it's a, it's a carbine. It's not a rifle. Just, uh, I have another carbine. 
M1 carbine. Uh, I believe somewhere. I don't. I don't think I have it right with me right now, but because uh, I'm using it in a different place right now, I'm not gonna go get it. Uh, it's the paratrooper version of the M1 carbine. Uh, another Bren gun. Um, those guys. I don't know why they're they've fallen down, but um. You have a uh, Nambu pistol, which is an exclusive prototype for the Pacific Weapon Packs, Weapon Pack and the World War II one. You have a tan Brody helmet. That one was the dark tan from the World War One. So, yeah. And then you have a uh, Springfield sniper rifle. This could be used as a Japanese or Russian, but when the World War II weapons pack came out, they didn't have Russian... Uh, helmets or Japanese ones, so that's why, or Type 90 Japanese helmets, uh, that's why they, uh, they've used that as a substitute, uh, you have your German Stahlhelm, which is the best helmet known to man, that design was a really clever design, it, you could hear and see, and that lip came down, or like the skirt, as some people call it, um, Protects your, uh, back of your neck and brain, so, yeah. I'm gonna be using this, um, for someone over there that, I don't know, I don't have a stall, stall helm for. Thompson SMG. Um, MG42, which is fastest, uh, machine gun, like, known to me, like, in the history of the world. Not the fastest one in service, because if you look that up... I've told a lot of kids that, and they, at school, and then they come back, and they're like, uh, the mini, the, I forget the exact number, the mini gun is the fastest gun, and that is the fastest in-service gun, it was made in, like, the 60s, my brother's coming in, so, yeah, I have a tripod for it, okay, an idiot! Shut up, Harrison. Uh, let me get the uh, tripod for that. So, yeah, I don't, Harrison's being a retard. Uh, you have another trench gun, which was still used in World War II. And then, for anyone watching for the first time, I'm just going to put this on this guy. That's who I needed it for. Uh, these are my two customs. Now, I have two winter guys. I've scra put scratches on their stall helms to give them an extra look, and these are winter guys. Depending on the time period, I might give them this guy, the gunner, uh, like, this is the ready position. They would carry it at their side, like, like this, normally, but I'd either give him uh, MG-34, which is the original version, MG-42, and I'm pretty sure, uh, um, D-Day was the first time they were using, um, MG-42s, which they, st even after these were created, um, they still used MG-34s, so, um, yeah, these were just cheaper to make, because they used stamped parts, and you could take out, uh, the barrel in a few seconds, because they would overheat so fast. Now, this one was cheaper and less durable than the MG-34, but much faster, so, yeah. Just wanted to show you those two customs. So yeah, keep on the lookout for um, my new uh, unboxing video that once I get my package from the Minifig Co. Um, uh, for TMC Day, um, have some a lot of winters on normal. I believe I I ordered like a regular Wehrmacht one. Like, just a stone gray uniform one. And I ordered some... I'm really happy about this. As I said at the beginning of the... Some Waffen-SS camo. Das Reich. Uh, like, I believe. Um, they really... Das Reich was one of the only ones to use that 44 dot camo. But, yeah. Bye.